When in April 2007, McConnell Dowell was awarded the onshore contract to establish and operate a temporary spool base for the Coupe Gas project in New Zealand, it was always going to be a challenging project. Situated in Picton on New Zealand's South Island, the spool base was to fabricate 27,000 metres of underwater pipe for Origin Energy Resources' high-profile Coupe Gas project which will play a major role in helping New Zealand meet its increasing gas needs. Highly experienced in a wide variety of product and pipe types, ranging from small diameter to 50-inch diameter pipelines, McConnell Dowell has the capability and expertise to deliver a safe, quality project anywhere in the world, in a tight time frame and on budget. The Coupe project presented several challenges, one of which was the limited space in which to build an efficient spool base. Steep terrain and existing buildings behind Waimahara Wharf limited the spool base size and restricted the maximum pipe stalk length to 420 metres. Facing tight time frames and limited space, McConnell Dowell had only 15 weeks to construct a fully functioning world-class temporary spool base, while ensuring that safety remained the key performance indicator at all times, delivering an injury and incident-free project. Civil works involved civil preparation works for the safe handling and storage of pipe stalks. This included constructing a steel bridge spanning 60 metres over a stormwater pond situated in the middle of the site, strong enough to accommodate 68 pipe stalks equaling 650 plus tons and up to three 50 ton excavators. Constructing pipe storage racks and pipe ready racks on either side of the pond. The construction of a world class 120 meter long fabrication facility, housing the beveling, welding, non-destructive testing and field joint coating workstations. Setting up a movable tie-in station along the spooling tie-in line. And preparation of the designated pipe stockpile area. The mechanical scope of the project included developing and qualifying welding procedures for both the 12-inch diameter 22one millimeter wall thickness carbon steel pipe as well as the 12-inch diameter 254 millimeter wall thickness 33% CR duplex steel pipe. Mobilizing automatic welding systems for production welding of both the carbon steel and duplex pipe. Developing and qualifying the non-destructive testing automatic ultrasonic examination AUTE procedures and the mobilization of personnel and equipment. Developing and qualifying procedures for a high-tech field joint coating system as well as mobilizing personnel and equipment. Developing procedures for pipe and pipe stalk handling. Designing and fabricating the alignment rollers. Complete fabrication, handling, storage, cleaning, gauging and tie-ins for the pipe stalks. As well as provision of support services to the Apache during spooling. Production welding commenced on the 8th of October 2007 and was completed on the 27th of November. McConnell Dowell having only seven weeks to construct 68 420 metre long strings of pipe to very high quality standards. From the storage area, the 12.2 metre long 12 inch diameter pipe sections, each numbered for traceability, were moved to the ready rack for a pre-weld inspection and the ends were then bevelled using an on-site bevelling machine. The pipe was then rolled into the alignment station where the ends were preheated, ready for welding. The hydraulic alignment rollers designed and installed by McConnell Dowell ensured the rapid and accurate positioning of the new pipe. The mainline carbon steel weld procedure involved nine passes split over three automatic welding stations. As the automatic welding system was new technology and had not been used in New Zealand prior to this project, 
McConnelldale arranged for the local welders to be trained in the operating and handling principles of the machines and organised for technical personnel to remain on site for the duration of the project to assist with the supervision of the welders and perform standard maintenance. Welding results were excellent, with production results averaging an impressive 50 welds per 10-hour shift and only 0.8% repairs on the carbon steel welds. From the welding stations, the pipe was moved onto the non-destructive examination area. As the pipe was to be subjected to strain as part of the reeling and pipe lay process, the welds were inspected using state-of-the-art automated ultrasonic testing, AUT. The acceptance criteria for the inspection was defined by a project-specific engineering critical assessment, ECA, carried out by TECNIP and was particularly stringent.